In this tutorial, we're going to take a deeper dive into macros. In the last episode, we built some predefined macros on the Grain MA3. In this tutorial, we're going to go deeper and we're going to start writing our own macros. I'm going to show you where you find your inspiration to what to write if you haven't been working with macros at any time. So what we're going to build is this. We have all our Vipers up here. Uh, if I turn them on, you can see it's only one queue. Uh, and it, it's just all the Vipers on in a certain position. But if I push this button here, you can see it creates two, or sorry, three extra cues here with three different effects on it. So if I push my go button now, you can see effect number one, effect number two, and effect number three, and then it goes back to the first cue. I can select another sequence up here. I can turn them on, that's all our auras, turn the vipers off, I can push the button and it does the exact same thing. One effect, two effect, three effect, and nothing. So this is what we're going to build, so uh, hang tight uh, and uh, welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before. The first thing we need to do, we select all our vipers again and we open a new macro here and we go into the command line or the edit. Uh, we need to create a new command line, but we have no idea what to write if we haven't worked with macros before. So here's a few tips on how to how to do that. So let's just close this one down again and say, okay, what do we want to do? We need to take uh, all our moving lights, all our vipers, and put them into this position. Uh, this is going to start a uh, um, an effect, and this is what we want to do. We just want to do it on a macro. Uh, so let's clear this one out and say, okay, we close all them, all the auras down, take all the vipers up again and say, all right, uh, we push all our vipers and how can we make a macro that does that? We go into our MA down here and it's going to tell you what it did, all the last commands. So the last command was selfix group number one. We don't want to selfix group number one because group number one is all our vipers. So basically, we just need it to selfix uh, or select all our fixtures in a sequence. Grain MA3 is so cool that if you have uh, a sequence selected, you can simply put selfix down here. And if we just turn off our shortcuts and say selfix, select all fixtures, it selects everything that's inside the selected sequence so this is what we need to write in our macro so let's just clear out here go into our macro go into edit and say insert new macro line right click and say cell fix there we go let's just go out here and see if it worked so we run our macro and it selected everything that's in this sequence which is all our vipers so now what do we need the vipers to do we need to go into this effect down here, which is in our all preset. And if you can see the number 21 here, and if you can see the number 2 here on our position, 3 on Gobo, 6 on Focus, if we press this one and we go into our MA thing down here again, you can say it's self-fixed a Q, and it went to at preset 21.1. And 21.1 is 21 as the preset pool, if you may, and then number one is the first effect. So basically, we clear out here and we go into our macro again and we say we just self-fixed all our moving lights. If we insert a new command line here and we say at preset 21.1 and let's see what the console is doing now. So we clear out and we say run the macro you can see it selected the vipers and it put it into 21.1, which is our dimmer sinus. So basically now we have everything in our macro to activate the uh, effect. So now we need to store it. And, and that is really, really easy because you basically just write out what you need it to do. So insert a new line, go into it and say, okay, we store Q2. And we need to add a dash and an O, which means that it overrides the queue if there's a queue there already. Right now, there's no queue, so it's going to work without the O. 
but if the if the queue already exists, it's actually going to stop and ask you what you need to do if you want to merge or if you want to insert or if you want to override or whatever. Uh, so that's why we put the dash and the O in, and you can also say dash M, which is uh, merge, and dash I, I think, for insert and all the other, uh, you can say remove as well. So basically, this is going to store queue number two and override whatever is in it in the first place. So let's see if it works. We run the macro. There we go. And it actually now has the dimmer sign. As I can see, I activated the macro when I built this uh, tutorial. So let's just delete Q2 through 4. That's another macro I have. There we go. So we clear it again and we run the macro. And it built the Q number 2 as we wanted it to. And uh, there we go. So now we go into the macro again and say, okay, it's stored queue number two, but it's called it dimmer sinus. We wanna we wanna decide what what to call it. So let's say insert new macro line. Let's say label Q two, and then we put these quotation marks in and say sinus effect like this, and let's go back and see if it worked. So we run it again, and let's see if the name changes up here, and it did. So now it's basically copy-paste. What I need to do is uh, my all preset here, I want to use uh, effect number 1, number 2, and number 4 in basically Q2, 3, and 4. So let's say we go into the macro again and say we store Q number 2. We put uh, the preset number 21.1. Uh, on the effect, we stored it in queue number two and we did some override. We labeled queue two sinus effect. So basically what we need to do now is we still have the selection we made up here. So it's very simple now to copy whatever is in here. Just control C and then paste it here and say now we need it at preset 21.2 and we need to store that in queue... We just I just copy it so we don't have to write it out all the time. We store this in Q3. We label Q3. Copy and paste it here. We say snap on. Snap on effect. So let's see if that worked. Let's run the macro again. It now did it again here. There we go. Maybe we did something with the queue that is not right. That's because I should change this to A3. And that's the cool thing about macros, because then I can just run it again and everything is correct. So let's build out the last one. We go into the macro again and we say we need it at preset. We just copy this one and go down here and say, here we go, at number 21.4. We need to store this in. We need to store this in Q number four. So we need to change this to a four, and we need to label. We need to label Q four. There we go, and we can call it just wing effect, maybe. Wing effect. There we go. So now let's go out again and see if it worked. So we just clear everything and we run the macro and everything worked fine. So a good thing to do when you have done all this macro and you can you can see it's working now, we need to put the console into blind mode before we continue, uh, before we start the macro. And that is done by inserting a new macro line and simply typing blind. There we go. And we can insert the last one where we take blind off i think it's only blind again i'm not sure maybe it's gonna work let's just try it out right now the disk is not in blind if we run the macro everything is fine and it's not in blind so it takes it into blind and then goes out but we need to add uh, the clear command as well um so and we need to do that before the blind is turned off which is we just put it here and insert new macro line and we say clear all. And for some reason, you have to do that twice. 
Uh, I don't really get it because there was another command on it uh, on the Granima too, but uh, I don't know why. This should work, so let's just take this one out. We just clear everything here and run the macro like this, and it just stays where it is. And right now, you can use the effects, and it's really cool. But if we select all our auras, we need all our auras to have the uh, Q2, 3, and 4 as well, and labeled in the same way. So basically, we select it and say, okay, all our auras, we turn them on, we turn the vipers off. There's only one Q here. But if we run our macro, now it populated uh, Q number 2, 3, and 4. I can press go. I have all the effects I want. Uh, and that took only a second. So basically, this macro is really cool if you need to do the same thing over and over again to apply effects or colors or whatever. I mean, this is only for inspiration. You can write very, very co complex macros, change timing and do whatever. So this is just for inspiring you. And if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like the video and maybe even subscribe to the channel. That is going to help us against the evil YouTube algorithm and spread the video out to uh, more people. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time on the channel. Bye-bye.